I got the Delta Force 29 build on the freaking block, boy. We Part 4. Part 4 to the build series. In the previous uploads, we did the carbon fiber inlay for strength, rigidity to the hull. We made our custom battery tray and our custom twin motor motor mount. Okay, got everything kind of mocked up. Uh, today, we're going to focus on water cooling. Okay, we need a way to cool down our electronics. I'm running a 10 shock knife blade style rudder that does not have water pickups. Normally, the pickups are on the blade. Uh, so, we need a way to cool down the electronics and we're going to install fabricate DIY a through hole flush mounted water pickup using common brass tubes you can basically pick up any freaking where we'll also be drilling the through holes for our stingers so we know where the stuffing tube is going to come through the hole so we'll have a good placement for the water pickup so uh, stick around you guys Big B with Ironclad RC It's a nice, clean-looking setup right now. Uh, hopefully, it stays that way. <laughs> but I know what you guys are thinking. You guys, you know, you're probably like, well, Big B, why don't you just use this Oxdean transom-mounted water pickup? You know, it would mount right on the transom, one here, one there, and I would actually have enough room for it. It would be simple to install, and uh, it works, you know? But I kind of, I kind of want to go for like a streamlined looking boat. Like I don't think I'm going to install trim trap, trim tabs, right off the bat. You know, I think I'm just going to run the stingers and turn fins. And um, I really, I really, I don't have any boats that don't have like water cooling lines running out the boat. So I, I kind of want to go streamlined with this one. You know, a, a tidy looking transom. So um, I could use this guy right here. This is a dual intake flush mounted water pickup okay it would basically mount right there okay like right there but uh the only thing wrong with this is it's it's so wide okay and i really i, I really wanted to use this on my velez i just hadn't really felt like installing it and I think this would be better suited for a catamaran because it's so wide. Uh, with a mono hull, you have a very small, a very small ride surface the boat's riding on. So I think like a a single intake, flush mounted intake, may be better for a mono hull. You know, they sell these single. You could put one here and one on the other side. You, you know what I'm saying? Because the ride pads, the, the ride area where the boat contacts the water while you're underway, it's so small, you know. So I think a single pickup would be better. I could be wrong, but, um, you know, that being said, I'm going with the flush mounted DIY. Okay. Um, now I'm not going to use this big pickup. That's what come on the Oxy Marine pickup. I just have this kind of for reference. I think we're going to go a little bit smaller with the brass tube. You know, you guys see how big this hole is on these nipples, and that supplies plenty of water to our electronics. Okay, and I actually want to try to go smaller with the the through hole. You know, with the brass tube, so I don't have such a gaping like a big hole in the bottom of my boat now i don't really think it would matter you know i'm not really building this boat for speed um and it probably wouldn't even freaking matter but i'm going to go a little bit smaller with my brass tube so uh let's find let's find one so i actually found this 3.1 millimeter brass tube which is eighth of an inch i think and this one is five thirty seconds i believe 3.9 millimeters so kind of up in the air between these two. I actually uh, use this indexed drill bit hole card here to uh, find the correct drill bit size for my water pickups. As you guys seen, I went ahead and, and soldered the, the, the barb on, okay? And I have two size, sizes. Still haven't made my mind up. So this is eighth inch, and this is 5 seconds, I believe. Okay, so basically 
3.2 millimeters, 3.8. But on the intake, this flush mounted intake, the hole size is basically 5 30 seconds. You guys see that? And I really don't want a big footprint on the bottom of my boat, like a big hole, like a big gaping foot hole footprint on the bottom. So, uh, you know, I've got these made up. You know, like I said, I, I soldered the ends on so our, our cooling line stays on. But I think I'm going to go with this eighth 3.1, 3.2 millimeter. Okay, it's just a small, a little bit smaller, smaller footprint, less like a smaller hole in the bottom of the boat, basically. And the hole is actually bigger than the nipple the nipple hole okay so we should pick up plenty of water you know and you guys are probably like well big b why aren't what use the big one use the big one you know use the big one you're going to get more flow but you get just as much if not more flow with a small intake hole okay and guys are going to argue with me i know but you know, I don't really care. I, I've I've drilled out my holes on rudders and lost flow. Okay, the pickup, the pickup. Now drilling out the, I drilled this hole out first and I picked up flow, pretty sure. And then I drilled out the intake hole, lost flow. Hence the reason why I welded this area right here on the on the pickup itself, trying to make a little cup to pick up more water. But that messed up my high speed. It, it caused the boat to want to try and walk real bad and do all kind of odd, odd things at, at speed. So um, I'm taking all that I've learned into consideration making my through hole. You know, if I put a big gaping hole in my ride surface, the boat only rides really, really the. It only it really only rides you know maybe like from here okay like right there okay where my fingers start that's our ride surface and it kind of gets larger as it goes back okay that, that little v right there is where the boat that wetted surface okay and um i'm thinking i want to mount well i really want to mount my my pickups i really want to mount them right here toward the back but I'm thinking I may need to, I may have to mount them right there. So really, really the reason I made my servo mount the way I did is to conserve on space inside the boat. A lightweight servo mount, it's like tight and consolidated, you know? So um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking those lines on the bottom of my boat is basically where I'm gonna set this mount at, or this pickup, excuse me. So I got this sticky putty, like I said, I use this for setting up everything on my boat. Okay, so I'm thinking, if I mount it right there, okay, that's gonna be out the way of my servo linkage, my, my steering linkage, okay? And I got that bend, so it kinda wraps around my stuffing tube, so that the cooling line kinda goes out out of the way okay this is gonna give me a nice clean looking transom without a bunch of cooling lines everywhere you know uh, the inside of my transom is gonna be real busy and uh this is really like my second day of, of messing with this stuff um, I hadn't turned the camera on throughout because I've been planning you know plan 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 set up set up set up and then you execute Okay, so with these water pickups, we need to make sure that they're in line with the keel. Pretty sure, you know, make sure they're in line with the keel. You don't want them, you don't want to have them like cocked at an angle. And I'm thinking like the lower the angle, the better. Uh, but if you go real low with the angle, it's going to make the hole in the bottom of the boat larger, elongated. Okay, so. So I'll show you. I drilled out. So I drilled out the the eighth hole here. Okay. And I drilled out the five thirty seconds hole. Pretty sure it's five thirty seconds. If it's not, I'll I'll put it up in the corner 
on the screen here. Okay, so you guys can see how how big how big a difference that is. Okay, five thirty seconds is on the right, the eighth is on the left. Okay, see how much of a difference it is? Granted, I'm just holding it in place. We got a we're gonna be epoxying it in, but you see the difference in size, the footprint. Okay, so um, I think I'm gonna go with the smaller one. Okay, and I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to angle it about about that angle right there okay if I go lower that's gonna make that's gonna make the hole in the bottom of the boat longer you feel me and I'm, I'm really I'm really like tempted I'm really scared to do it because um, I've seen boats there's a couple ready to run boats that have through hole pickups and they bounce a lot they bounce a lot, and I think it's because they use the big, big line for their through hole, you know? I'll mark all that out, I'll start the video back once I start it again. drilled I used my little hand drill for that and now I'm gonna go in with the correct drill bit I've checked it several times I've drilled holes practicing several times so we don't mess it up and destroy the bottom of our boat go in at a at the same angle on both of them I'm not gonna follow the angle on the bottom of the boat I'm gonna follow the keel you feel me I'm gonna follow the keel go straight Go straight in, keep it running, and slowly follow the keel till we get the right angle. Okay, make sure your 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 drill chuck. Make sure this part doesn't hit the bottom of the boat when you're going when you're going down. You feel? Okay, okay, so I got my holes drilled, and this is the critical part right here. So we're gonna basically re recut the angle for our brass tubes, okay? While we're recutting the angle, that actually turned out real nice. This one right here looks like it's pointed in toward the keel a little bit, so I may try to straighten that up a little bit. But it actually turned out pretty good, and uh, we're gonna actually cut the angle so that our bend goes over the stuffing tube you know what I mean and bend the tube as we're doing it type deal all right okay so I got this thing epoxied in here and if I move the boat it's gonna move and I've got it perfect okay so Basically just got epoxy on there with a little bit of carbon fiber just to speed up the cure process And this hammer is on top just to keep the forward Part of this tube tucked into the boat All right, so I finished up the the water pickups Okay, I'm gonna take everything out and show you what it looks like without the servo in but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what it'll look like when it's all finished up now I did drill the holes for my stuffing tubes and I didn't have the freaking camera rolling I'm a re, -re so I apologize for that but um I got my, my stingers mounted up low on the transom both of them are the same height it took a lot of time to do that and uh, it took even more time to freaking install these water pickups in the boat man Jeez, so I, I used um, I used 24 hour epoxy basically and I let it sit up for about an hour before I started working with it And um, you know, it took me it took me it, it took me a couple hours to get this one in a couple hours to get that one in and get them Set into the boat correctly. Okay. I got them set in the boat. Perfect. This one right here. It looks like it's Not perfect, but it actually is I had some gel coat chip off whenever I was drilling the hole out but um 
other than that, I think they come out real good. There's really no raised areas, you know? I'm just going to wet sand it, clean it up a little bit. But now you really can see what I was talking about, a small footprint, you know, using the 8th brass tube opposed to the 532nds. I got a nice, tidy-looking pickup, and I actually took it into the kitchen. I got my boat in the sink here. It's It's been about 18 hours since it's... I had epoxy on it, so it should be cured out. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Well, I guess you guys can see the tubes there. Okay, so we got flow on that one. All right, and we got flow on that one. Not even right on top of it. I'm like right in front of it, you know? So you guys can see the flow there probably won't have any air bubbles in it when it's in the water you know and that one's getting flow this left one I didn't think it would pick up that much water because it kind of looks funny on the bottom of the boat but it looks like it's picking up more water than the one that looks good you know that's gonna be perfect and I run it right over it that's probably the flow we'll get Oh, that's perfect that's perfect yeah that's gonna work that's gonna work yes sir buddy they both had a good flow both of them had a really good flow one was a little better than the other so i'll kind of fine-tune that as i build the boat but um you know i can actually slide my brass my tube all the way down or i could just kind of keep it on the the nipple right there we'll put a little zip tie on it or a piece of uh, a slither of silicone line to kind of hold it in place but it turned out nice uh, once I put a second application of carbon fiber on to kind of keep them rigid in the boat I'll be able to like maybe bend them a little bit more kind of conform them to the to you know the shape I want them um, the servo mount come out good I actually took some uh, wet epoxy and kind of wiped on them kind of brung back the shine after I wet sanded them all right, uh, I epoxy some nut plates on the bottom, so it makes it easy to install and and, and uninstall a servo. Basically, going to sit in the boat like that. Okay, in the next video, we'll, we'll epoxy the battery tray in. We'll we'll kind of look at CG. I hadn't showed you guys that. I've been messing with it back and forth, but uh, you guys hadn't seen it. We'll um, install the motor mount and the servo mount. Okay, and it's basically downhill after that. You know. Oh yeah, we'll. We'll epoxy the stuffing tubes in the boat as well. But, um, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with the rudder. Because it really needs to be extended. Shoot, it needs to be extended that much. At least an inch off the transom. And, I, and I'm trying to figure out or find the, the right material to do it with. You know, like either make a base right there. Or I'm just going to have to wait and order some 3 millimeter carbon fiber because that stuff's thick i don't have nothing that thick so um yeah yep 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 all right we're getting there we're getting there thanks for watching you guys sorry about the long video we'll see you guys next time big b what are clad rc